All right, it is time for Freedom Fighters. I'm very excited. Adam, this one's for you. I hope you're ready. It's been a long time since I played this. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, 4x3. TV, that's what we want. Um, yeah, it's probably fine. All right, new game. There's four difficulty levels. I'm going to play on Rebel, because I don't know how hard the other two are above that. And I don't want to die a lot. This one should be fine. Name. Ugh, I love this song. Oh my spy, that's me! Let's start. Anyway, when I couldn't pinpoint the exact location of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons, she dropped me right there. Cold. Damn, I look like an idiot still holding the drinks I've been paying for all night. Well, who cares? You know, her loss. Hey, pop the clutch, so let's get on with it. What's up with the worksheet today, bro? Hmm, let's see. Isabella Angelina, a condo in Midtown Manhattan, drain plug, and a leaky garbage disposal. Gah. Do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? I wish for once we get a fancy condo on the east side with a beaut... Whoa. Isabella Angel whatever. She's that hot spokes babe for the warning against Reds movement? Hey, saw her on TV yesterday. No idea. Besides, I don't follow all that conspiracy crap like you do. <laughs> what do you mean, conspiracy crap? Doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America bother you? You need a reality check, bro. Know what? Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy crap then. Right. You're so in denial. Look, try listening to those warning against Reds guys. What? Speaking of which, how about this first stop? I'd really like to check out the plumbing on that Isabella chick. Hmm. Hello? Plumbers on patrol. Anybody home? Yeah. Whew. No wonder. Sister Sludge sure needs a drain surgeon here. There is one here. Freeze! Don't move. Remain calm, citizen. Whoa, hey, stay cool, man. I'm just the plumber. Where is your girlfriend, citizen? Girlfriend? Hey, she's not me. I will ask again. Where is Isabella Angelina? Hmm? What, her? Look, I think, I mean, she's, look, she's not. Well, Isabella cannot be far from here. Bomb the place to pieces. I want to see a lawyer, buddy. Okay, so America has just been invaded by the Russians. Mondays, am I right? Oh, gee, stop shooting me with this helicopter. So I think our guy's name is Chris, and his brother's name is Troy, is that right? And Troy is simultaneously a misogynist, but also extremely woke when it comes to this invasion. There's bras everywhere. Everywhere. And she left the shower on. I'm just gonna get rinsed off here. Okay, we're ready to go. Um... Yeah, okay. So we got a wrench. We're ready to fight for freedom. There's this poster for Hong Kong Love Story starring the Hitman. Uh, also an I.O. Uh, intellectual property there. I think back when I had this game, uh, or when I, when I first got it, rather, I would not have gotten this joke because I did not know anything about the Hitman games. So I probably just ignored that poster. I don't know who that is on the fridge. Anyway, press R to attack these Russians. Oh, a wrench to the face. It is fortunate that you found me. Quickly, this way. Okay, Mr. Jones. 
Also, can we stop and talk about how that big, the big Russian guy that came in and punched my brother had a, a bare face belt buckle? We that was must great. Leave now. Whoa, he did leave now. Wow. Perfect. He won't trouble us anymore. He wasn't troubling us, Mr. Jones. All right, we take his gun. Hurry! We mustn't linger here. Nobody builds roof Lord roofs soldiers. like this. Shoot them. Bro. Troy. No. Please hurry. We must move on now. Who are you? See those soldiers down there. We are not as well supplied as the enemy, so we'll have to improvise. Aim at the fuel barrels. Luckily, they're standing them. right in the middle of all these gasoline barrels. Oh, not anymore. Ah! That blew up for some reason. You're wounded. For the Take healing the tutorial. Behind the ambulance. Whoop. Good. You are ready for battle again. Yes. We're not out of the woods yet. It's us or them. A dumpster exploded on me, but I put some band-aids on, so I'm good. Whoa. Look at this chaotic scene. Whew, that is some sound distortion. Whoa. They're not gonna make it. Another helicopter. And this guy seems to need medical attention. He's wounded. You have a help. Save this man's life. Relax. Yo, that was close. I guess I owe you one. Baxton. What's our status? Okay, come with me, guys. I've got supplies that'll get us out of this mess. I got more charming for wrapping bandages on him. This game's a little weird, but it's it's solid. It's good. It's fun. Just gotta get through all the weird tutorials. This looks exactly like my apartment building. Or, I, rather, Molotov. Isabella's. Show I guess I didn't live there. Molotov. Just laying there. Throw those babies! <laughs> Throw those babies! Alright, we got a guy back behind these boxes. Yeah! Mm, I got at least one. Are there more of you? Nope, I didn't get all of them. Everyone look out, I'm a plumber. Better than this trained military, that's for sure. Alright, we're good there. There's a Soviet barricade already here. Yes, this all makes lots of sense. Especially this back alley with trees growing in the corners. Nope, you know what? It doesn't make very much sense. Is this what New York is like? And then we take to the sewers. Open this man also a charming room. action. Wow, look at that guy. He opened that sewer grate. He sure is handsome. They've taken over the media already. Citizens of New York and comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces. Welcome to our Hold first on. news broadcast. Is that Lana? Today's events. Is that WWE's My Lana? Is Tatiana Kempinski? And I will be your regular news anchor from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education program at our training facilities in Alaska. Meanwhile, I will make sure you get all necessary information about our efforts to restore peace and stability in your troubled country. Oh, yeah. Our Soviet leaders have been concerned for years by the plight of the poor American people suffering under a corrupt regime. 
Today we have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans from You know what? This hits a little too close to home right now. Soon restore law and order in a new rule of government. And they expect and believe that every citizen will swear allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance will be futile and dealt with swiftly. A great leader, Comrade General Tatarin, will Tatarin. be the nation later. With his so bare on belt. of the dedicated staff here at the studio and the glorious Soviet armed forces, welcome New York to a better future. I killed the bear with my hands and then I ripped its face off and made it into a belt. I assume that's what Tatarin would say if he were here. Welcome to our sewer haven. Are sewers like this? Are they really that big? Underground? With so much open space? I've never been down there. Somebody will have to confirm that for me. It looks nice. And the water's fairly blue, even though it should be like 80% poop. What is the structure? <laughs> Okay, this is our base. It's not great. And there's not much going on here now. We've got this, like, tiny garden for some reason. Never explained. Um, but otherwise, it's just me and Jones and Baxton. This is our base. It's a safe zone. We store equipment here. With complete control of the sewer system, the tunnels enable us to bypass many of the Soviet roadblocks. All of our maps will indicate the location of the sewer access points. Let us go over to the table and take a look at the map. We are at the table, Mr. Jones. Just the three, uh, three of us and two American flags. We are ready to win this war. Okay, so one of the cool things I like about this game are how they break out the levels. So this is like your level select. There's obviously more than two levels in the game, but it's like you have to beat both of these to proceed and you can finish them in whatever order you want uh, but sometimes you have to go into one you know maybe do a special action or find some items or something and then go to the other one to actually finish it uh, so and I don't remember everything that happened in this game but I do know in this first one we want to go to the police station first secure the police station and liberate our leader Isabella raise your flag to signal our release the police officers will assist you but they need your help taking out the snipers on the nearby gas station yeah, so looking at the map, you can see those little uh, ladder circles. That's what goes down to the sewer. The star is where we need to go and capture a building and raise the American flag and show those Russians what's up. Uh, and then the map is its just a map. That's how maps work. Alright, so what we need to do is run past OG's diner. OG's! Embargo. Please help! We're pinned down here! Hey, listen, buddy. Grab some explosives and get back to the sewer. Go to the gas station. That's where you'll need to blow the fuel tank. Just go through the sewer you came from. Yeah, so you have to come in here. Grab the C4 if you run... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if you run past the truck, you'll get sniped by the gas station snipers, but apparently you only have to be near the truck to get completely annihilated. Okay, well, I'm going to grab that C4 again real quick. <laughs> okay, I didn't get shot this time. Back to the sewer, and then we're going to go to another location and go to the post office. The post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing into the city. Your brother is being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the roof to signal our victory. To get near the police station, you'll have to destroy a sniper's nest on the gas station. Yeah, so to finish this part of the level, we have to finish the, the post office building, but we're actually going here to do the gas station first. 
We got that C4, Yo, and I gotta talk to you. we're a plumber, so obviously we know how to use it. Hey, Check the kid. That. You found some C4. All you gotta do now is blow the gas station. How do you know that? What are you spray painting here? Freedom? I think it says freedom. I'm not very good at reading graffiti. Alright. Some guys down here. <laughs> now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. No way, pal. No one gets by until Isabella is free. All right, so we will have to get Isabella before we can go inside there. Here's another opening to the sewer. There's somebody on the other side of this fence, but we can't get to them. But let's remember that for later. So yeah, one of the one of the things I like about this is that is that uh, the map jumping and having to do things in different areas. So like. We're going to take out the snipers here, and that directly affects the police station part of the level. And there's other instances of this later where you have to, you know, blow up something or, or knock down a building or, or something, and it'll change um, what happens on the other maps. So, you can see the snipers are up there on top of that sign. We're at this gas station, which is really weird now that I think about it, because it's in between a bunch of buildings, no road access. It's surrounded by this brick wall. Like, there's barely even any room to drive. Good old tires and tubes. And they keep, like, a, a billion gallons of flammable gasoline in these giant silos next to the gas station. Is this what New York is like? Anyway. We're gonna take them out. This is where the game really begins. <laughs> Sorry, I just I always do that <laughs> cuz it's awesome and then the music comes in. Uh, it's amazing. Okay, so the snipers are gone. Back to the police station. That was pretty awkward. I think I tried to reload while exiting a sewer. Nearly broke both of my elbows. Alright, past OGs. And so now we can we can keep going down the street without getting sniped. Thanks, friend. Nice to get rid of the snipers. Listen, if you're gonna infiltrate the police station, I recommend you use the subway tunnel. Right, so there are there's some guys with machine guns in front of the police station, so just running up there is pretty dangerous. Like, I think you can hug the wall and get up there, but it's still pretty scary. There's the the gas station we blew up. Uh, so the safer road is to go down through the subway tunnel. Those people down at the end don't seem too concerned. Also, there doesn't seem to be... Oh, okay, that goes down. It's like, there doesn't even seem to be a subway down here. It's just a tunnel. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we go through the tunnel out the side. Police officer right here didn't care about those... Uh, Russian soldiers down there. Enter the police station through the parking garage, but stay low, or the soldiers will spot you. All right, buddy, I'll stay low. Yeah, we'll hide behind these cars. They won't machine gun us, and we're gonna sneak in through the parking garage. Hey, buddy, stay low and sneak through the parking garage. Here we go. 
A little bit of shotgun action. Those NYPD always leaving their shotguns just in the parking garage. Ooh, I need to heal. Ah! assault rifle the ranges and the rate of fire they're too good this is a very large parking garage wait how do the cars get in and out of here I walk through that door I don't see a way for them to drive in or out that's a pretty big oversight IO <laughs> there's no way for them to leave and there's graffiti inside the the police parking garage. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to point out every inconsistency I can find. There's no way for these cars to enter or leave. Interesting. All right, we are in the police station. We're just a normal plumber. We were just going to have a normal Monday. And look what these bastards did. There's no reason why I should be this effective against a military operation. guys weren't even attacking me, but... America! They... The, inv the invaders have already put up posters. Ah! Okay. I didn't have to go attack them, but I... I did. You know. Okay. Upstairs. Ah. <laughs> They're so ineffective. Everybody's so chunky. Like I am a I am a broad man. Okay, we can go up farther. This is a cool police station, it's kinda like <laughs> something you might find in Resident Evil. Lots of med kits, lots of bullets, we're good. Alright, upstairs we go. This looks like it should be a hidden wall, like a secret, but it's not. And I wonder if... I wonder if they used an asset that has a door here, and they're like, ah, just use it again, but we can't make it... <laughs> we can't put a door here, so make it look like a solid wall. And so they just put a second wall. That's my guess. Whoa. I mean, I love this game, but looking at it now, I'm just like... <laughs> Some of it just doesn't make any sense. Like, they just invaded, right? And this police... This United States Police Department room is covered in... Russian wanted posters of Isabella Angelina. They're everywhere. And then their own propaganda posters. That doesn't make any sense. Med kits. Oh, let's use one since we're full. There we go. Now, this game isn't just running and gunning. It's not just going to be this the whole time. There's more stuff we can do later, but we just haven't gotten there yet. That charisma is going to come into play. Isabella! Oh. 
no hiding inside the geometry. Here she is. Over here. Charisma. All right, we've saved Isabella, and we're going to raise, even though there's still Russian army out here, we're going to raise the American flag. And that means this building belongs to us. Sorry, Soviets. This is our police station now. Just the two of us. It belongs to us. Okay, well, we're about out of time um, here, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this weird, weird game. Uh, Adam, thanks for the recommendation on playing this on the channel. I have been wanting to do it for quite a while. I just had to find the time, and now is the time. Uh, so, uh, next time we will go and finish the post office. Take that back, and then we'll see where everything leads us. So, I'll see you then.